Yeah, a lot of the times. All the time, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So that means that if uh, Secret wants to have it, they will have to pick it up in the first two. But it's one of those heroes that is fairly easily countered. Do you think they will pick Ember Spirit for his pick? I don't see why not. Well, it's mid one signature hero. Yep. Why not? And I feel it's overpowered in this patch. Yeah, there it is. So several ways to deal with Ember Spirit. Uh, I've seen Silencer sometimes, I've seen Invoker a lot of the time, and I've seen Nyx Ursa. a lot. Ursa destroys him in lane, but the thing about it is, you can just yeah. dump him in the safe lane. I'm pretty sure MP, MP can play it too, right? So, really as we saw, that kind of destroyed DC is when Ursa is not in a favorable matchup, I and mean, you, you stomp him hard in the early game, everything just goes to crap. I think they're gonna go for Nyx Assassin. Skez is a good hero. Or who, secret or EG? Or, or secret. Secret. Juggernaut. Well, it's an IO Juggernaut pickup, so a lot of sustain again. Might not be with the other Lord, but could try to go for the same type of siege. Who, who wins mid, Juggernaut or Ember? I've seen that matchup a lot, but I've seen it go both ways. A lot of magical damage. It's only magical damage coming up from Juggernaut early on. He has a he can right click pretty hard with a poor man shield. I I thought that too. I was like, can't he just flame guard? But I've seen a lot like just a straight right click of that. I don't know. That matchup is a little weird. I guess it depends on the roaming hero a lot and who gets the earlier six. EG's turn D. Well, who gets the earlier six might have something to do with uh, the supports that come around and help out. And the IO is one that typically helps out the Juggernaut a little bit at the start. Shadow Demon uh, picked up by Team Secret. Just to deal with the Jug, I yeah. think. Defensive support as well. Yeah, once he spins, gets the ultimate. Yep. Pretty useless. He's even good to disrupt. His illusions do a lot of damage. Right, so you've got the openings of both teams. Kind of know what type of playstyle they have. They both played the full best of three series. Earlier today, we've already got Evil Geniuses banning out the Silencer that we've seen Puppy play a lot today. What's your next move? I think they're gonna either pick or ban Next Assassin. That's one of their moves. On the side of Team Secret? Uh, yes. Alright, how come? Because he counters Ember Spirit really good. Mm -hmm. He can stun him for like four seconds. So easy to just from Vendetta use a carapace and then just stand after your stun locked. Well, they ban out the OD first. That leaves us to believe that they're thinking that Juggernaut's gonna be on the safe lane and not mid. The storm still do well versus Ember? I think so. You think so? I, 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 I it's a lot of magical damage. He just removes remaining. his shield with the remnant and the passive one. Five but root. Remaining. But root. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird how the root mechanics work. Actually, you can, uh, if you like, root storm spirit. You can't go out if you root ember spirit. Yeah, you can. Go you out. can go out. Seems like fire beats water. <laughs> really weird. <laughs> Fire beat storm indeed. But you can still you can't blink, you can't Ten move, but remaining. you can force stuff yourself. You can slide. You can slide as well. Well seems like the fire is the strongest element. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there goes Enigma Ban this time from Team Secret themselves though. That's uh, that's a bit of a change there, but ban nonetheless. Maybe uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe uh, in the third game if there is one, we'll see. In the what is that? Is that a terror blade? That is a terror blade ban, correct, sir. Banning out the good shadow demon partners. Don't want the juggernaut to be ripped apart. Five Are there any other left? Morphling, I think is the main one that I see most common. Luna, by far the most common. Terror blade, as we've seen a lot this tournament, but Morphling, he's been banned out now and then. I don't know. Sometimes he's picked up. I think he's decent versus Wisp too. You can split push quite easily, you're not vulnerable to relocate, and you have a lot of bursts to deal with him later. And well, the first pick is going to Evil Geniuses after this banning phase, so they get to make their first move. I don't know if the Silencer and the Terror Blight, does that give anything away about what type of plan they might go for here, or is that just generally bans 
towards the Shadow Demon in this case and, uh, and Puppy's silencer earlier on. Just for the Shadow Demon. Yep. They don't have any anti push so far. They do they now. Banned it. Yeah, they do now. Elsie's one of the better heroes at locking down Ember Spirit. You don't actually need a support with a uh, lockdown if mm -hmm. you have the Legion Commander. Ember Spirits, they build Lincoln Spirit like super late. Ten seconds remaining. If they do build one at all. And is this enough already to kill it, or do you want some more burst damage coming out with uh, Legion Commander as a fourth and fifth? Well, it depends how the game goes. If Legion Commander gets an easy game, some early damage, he can just solo it after with the blade mail. But once after he gets his blink, they can just relocate and get an easy kill on Ember. Is this a universe Legion Commander? Yes. 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 Alright, so looking towards Team Secret. They know that already evil geniuses can deal with the Ember Spirit right now. They can deal yeah, kind they, of with the Shadow Demon as they well. They need one, one more disable at least. Mm -hmm. In their support, because previous game they revealed their mid hero at this stage. Oh, it's it gonna be a spirit breaker. You like it? I don't know yet. <laughs> okay. What is it gonna depend on? What needs if to happen? It's gonna bash more than 17%. I'm gonna <laughs> like it. <laughs> all right. It's all up to chance. Then. I mean, that's uh, that's a tough one leaving your game. That is potentially your last game in the winners bracket. That's a chance, but sure, I'll take it. They don't actually have a way to stop the charge right now. That's a big problem. Mm -hmm. So generally you'll see what Rubik, I think, is the most common. Uh, some other ones too, like Lion with a short cast point. But Darkseer, I guess you were right in asking whether or not that was a universe hero. Turns out it is not. So that is... Please don't tell me it's a jungle Legion Commander, because if that is, then the nice. pubs coming week are... <laughs> Why are you making the happy dance? Uh, I don't think it's jungle legion. <laughs> Safe lane legion, mid legion? It's probably a mid legion then. Mid legion? Yeah. All right. Thank God. Thank you. They're not going to have a jungle. I mean, they have a base, but it's pretty useless. We already yeah, said we... previous game that evil geniuses are the king of greed. Yep. They are the team that could do it. Shadow Fiend. What do you reckon? It's gonna be mid hero. If that is a Legion Commander mid, how does Shadow Fiend do? Yeah. Not so great. Not so great. They don't really have a good matchup versus Shadow Fiend, actually. They can still put Legion Commander in the jungle. They can still put Juggernaut mid if they want to. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is true. Juggernaut's, I think, the best matchup because he's also the least vulnerable to the Spear Breaker gank. Mm -hmm. they, 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 like, they don't have a good save for him. Like, Wisp might have to park himself in the mid lane if they're worried about Spear Breaker coming in. Ember Spirit versus Darks here. I don't really think that's very good for the Ember Spirit, though. Can't really deal with the Ion Shell Creeps at all and not enough burst to deal with them. Flame Guard gets taken down quite easily. And Shadow Demon is not really a support that helps you a lot with that as well. Yeah. True that. The Axe is the last band coming out from Evil Geniuses. Uh, assuming for them then that Spirit Breaker is going to be a support or a four position Spirit Breaker. You agree with that? Yeah, yeah. Kazu doesn't yeah. play that often. All right, and the last band coming out for Team Secret is going to reveal what they are assuming is going to happen with the lanes on the side of Evil Geniuses because it is kind I hope, of up in the air. I hope so. we see Jungle LC. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Don't don't look so nice. smug while you see that, Ben. That is not that's not cool. That's what else you're, is awesome. You're enjoying the way too much. Uh, well, I'll give you my banana if it's a jungle LC. I don't want your banana. <laughs> is this supposed to be a prize or like? Uh, a... I usually don't share it, but <laughs> for this case, I will. No, it's an honor, but no, thank you. So they think it's a core Legion Commander banning out the lion. They still have no way to stop the spirit break. I'm very surprised to see that. Um, I think he can kind of just charge any lane and just destroy people. Which support could fix that? Lion was one of them. Uh, Rubik I see sometimes as yeah. well as Shaker. Those are the two that I see a lot. Omni Knight, the last pick. He owns LC. He does. And there's a lot of save for duels as well. You got already the disruption, you got the heal. This could be... This would be scary for EG. Uh, I already feel like I'm not gonna say EG is gonna win. I like secrets. I like secrets a lot more. Pick a lot more. Yeah. 
No last uh, last pick for EG that could turn everything around. They don't have a good way to deal with Repel right now or GA. Like you have to buy the Fusal Shadow Demons already taken by them. Silencers banned out by Evil Geniuses. Or Spirit Breaker or Ember Spirit. You can just go in. There's only a duel and that's it. Yep. They're in a lot of trouble. They are. They're taking it into their bonus time right now. They got like 45 seconds left. What's the last bit gonna be, Lacoste? I, I can't see it. You can't see anything saving them at the moment? I, I also don't. <laughs> I think Earth Spirit would have been decent for them, but that's been banned out. I can't really figure out a team fight support that can stop Spirit Breakers early roam, that can also deal with the Omni Knight in the team fight. I don't know. I see a Lion, as you mentioned before. Lion's banned. <clears throat> Just but that right. GG. So Team Secret uh, thought the same as uh, you guys. Well, we are going to find out. You already say that you like Team Secret's draft a little bit more. Rubik, maybe? I think Rubik's pretty decent for the Omni Knight, hey. but... Punch! Ooh! All right. Bold? How does that answer your questions about what needs to, needed to be fixed in if, this draft? If his hook accuracy is greater than Spirit Breaker's chance to bash, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> so earlier on, you guys uh, went all out for EG this game. You already said you liked uh, S Team Secrets draft a bit yep. better. This part changed that at all? No. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you believe that Team Secrets is going to take this and we're going to see you game three? Great minds think alike. They have a better draft. Doesn't necessarily Okay, so, so what needs to happen for Evil Geniuses to have a good game in this case? Is it the Pudge? Is it all? Pudge owns. Pudge, yeah. Pudge yeah. owns. We saw Pudge own earlier today with Black for Team Faceless. It can happen. He's going to have to like really own. <laughs> <laughs> Even harder than Black did. Okay, that is a, that is a lot of pressure, and I feel like it's it's not as one-sided, guys, as as these two make it out to be. But uh, we are gonna find out uh, how this part is gonna fare and how well he is gonna have an impact on this uh, on this game too. We are in the winners bracket finals, and it is over to Koto Guy as well as Fog. Thank you so much, Shiver here, side by side, of course, with my man Fog, as we get ready to hop into game number two of our last upper bracket match of the day. It's Evil Geniuses, of course, versus Team Secret. EG get that one game leverage already, but Fog, quite an intriguing draft for Evil Geniuses coming into game number two. Really was kind of up in the air as far as where things were going. The LC pick kind of made things a bit interesting, but now based on the draft, what do you think? Panel seem to feel pretty confident that Secret had the upper hand. Do you agree with them? I would have to agree, yeah. They don't really have anything to stop the Spirit Breaker or to deal too well with Omni Knight. They have very little to actually deal with the Ember Spirit as well, just to lock him down. They have Legion Commander Duel, but other than that, it's very limited. So I would have to agree with the panel, the, uh, the MYM buddies giggling to themselves. But I would have to agree. As Oh, we'll see if that's going to be the case or not. Indeed, Arteezy sporting that Legion Commander. I mean, I got to tell you, I haven't seen this guy play this hero very much. Not even in his pubs, but me either. It's going to be an intriguing grab as it is. Sumail playing the Jug. Of course, uh, it's just going to be an intriguing case to see. How much of the impact is it, is it going to be on Zai for EG here to kind of just get the hooks, get the setup and connections in the early game to kind of really help EG kind of get the leverage early on. It's massive. I mean, if Secret's able to come out of this laning phase and get their levels, it's just going to be this, like, death squad. They don't have anything to deal with Repel. A Repel Shadow Fiend just hitting your buildings, it's going to be very hard to deal with him. Oh, yeah, they have to... It's going to be really up to Zai, working it with this Ion Shell, making moves all over the map. See how well he can do it. Maybe Crit and him can just pull out some magic. The battle begins. Oh, we'll get underway here. Puppy going to be the one to hang behind to kind of block out the wave a bit as Midwan will quickly grab up that bounty and then kind of join him side by side. Now for Puppy's Spirit Breaker here, is, he, is it very similar to what we saw with his Weaver game? Is he looking to kind of just be a bouncer, hopping between the lanes, making that impact? Where, where should he be residing in the early game? Take space for his Omni Knight and then just kind of make moves around following the Wisp, following the Pudge around. I think that's more than more so what he needs to do. I'm really curious about this uh, Leech Commander in RTZ. I know he's been he's been playing it a decent amount in pubs recently. But oh yeah, yeah, he has actually been he's been spamming it a decent amount. Oh okay, but okay. Double hero that is a, it takes a quite a lot to a lot to get used to how the playstyle is with it, especially with the Wisp. Just having that interaction between the two of them. 
definitely a nice little intriguing mid lane matchup First here. charge but... right away on Sumail, just putting pressure on mid. He, he saw the crit, I guess, coming out. He knows he doesn't have spin, so putting that pressure, trying to help mid one in that early phase since the poor man's shield and the Quallen Glade on the Juggernaut does give him quite an advantage on the last hitting department versus the Shadow Fiend early on. Yeah, try to get him to chew through that early share tango if possible. Trying to fend him off so mid one can get that early advantage here, but Puppy's gonna sidestep from that point and maybe look to take initiative elsewhere. They already drew out that maybe a, a go towards the top lane might be necessary based on how EG decide to lane these. Meanwhile, Sai, he's gonna be doing the jungle thing here. Yep, trying pulling, to get that level two right away. Trying to pull the, the camp. He actually did end up getting the first one, but right away, level two goes for the smoke play onto the onto mid one with with Juggernaut potential. They can definitely go for the kill here if he does land a hook or even get on top of him with the rot. So he does have the wind lace. He has the bonus movement speed 350 to 315 right now, right now while he smoked. Edwin needs to watch his positioning. He does here. Sin, I mean, mid one will feel somewhat comfortable thinking that he has that. They've got the nice tether as well short, with the wisp, so here we oh, go. Jump in, in trouble. his eyes running in mid one, quickly heads up towards the river here. Puppy is on the route to try to help him out, turns around, gets a couple of raises, and then they get the bash in. So trying bash. to help out, the second bash is there, but they need a bit more, and they're not going to have it. So they just fend off the aggression coming in from secret, but that will be the end of it. Good instant reaction by Puppy and by mid one to avoid that gank. So Crit and Zai already looking like they want to be making those like duo pair movements. Kazu getting burned down by Ansho. I know he does have the repel. Universe is trying to force it, but does not. Uh, but Universe already 11 CS. Kazu on the other side with just seven here, so it's going to be able to kind of really take the initiative in the lane and force Kazu to be in that awkward spot. Omni Knight obviously not too comfortable kind of working in melee range with those iron shells over the place, but he'll come in and get a couple of bops when possible. But it looks like it could be a little bit of a win-win for both sides on this one. Yeah, lanes should be fairly even. I think the one thing is that Darkseer does come out quite ahead on bottom. So EG winning one lane and coming out pretty much tied out in the other two. RTZ shouldn't really die at all in this top lane either with the press the attack and just remove the chains whenever they go for those type of kills and be able to clear the illusions quite easily into the later stages. Puppy sitting around mid lane, just trying to protect his Shadow Fiend. I think that's pretty much the thing. Because getting a kill on Juggernaut is pretty unlikely. No, they they will, uh, they'll, they'll give it the effort. Moves in, patches them up just enough to kind of knock them back and out of the lane here. Nothing too significant in Sumail at the moment. Doesn't have any regen on hand, so we'll have to be a, a bit more cautious as he's already lost about a half of his life. But with the creep wave well under his tower, he doesn't have to fend too far and we'll be able to get a, a good share of the XP underway. This could be the big thing that pushes it a little bit more into EG's favor is Zai just pulling the uh, pulling the neutrals, pulls the off lane, denies a couple creeps, gets himself so much in the levels and just limits what MP can get in that safe lane a bit. But like we said, the Pudge needs to do a lot in this game and already he's having a pretty decent impact putting a lot of pressure on the lanes. Crit, getting gone on the disruptions there. Yeah. Arkezi is moving toward for the tether. He gets rooted up though. He should be just okay here. Press the attack coming out. He's still kind of low though. Oh man. MP the charge coming out. That way. I think he is going to be going down. This looks to be first blood for secret. He got it done. It's MP who picks it up. They turn back on for Arteezy. They'll get the chains. Where's the bash? Pies also here. Yeah, one bash maybe could be a good enough connection but they're not going to be able to get it so we'll be striking first bottom lane we catch the back end of it and it's going to be universe going down hezu dropping him with a big heel and also and mid lane hit. action all over the map right there as this is going to be mid one getting the soul kill on the sumail those are kills that you would not expect at all i was glancing at mid and i went looking bottom and both we of them can't actually stop yet yeah, top lane aggression coming in as they're looking to die forward trying to get pie but here comes puppy charging in gets the forgiving back there after arteezy looking to go under tower he's desperate to get pie pie looking to hide within the trees trying to juke it about not gonna be able to make it away but arteezy might have paid with his own life going for this deep commitment they've already lost crit mp yeah you're not going to be hiding from this one mp catches him, catches him out takes him down and suddenly it's secret up five to one on mid lane, mid one gets pulled right into the arms of Zai. Sumil there comes in with the Blade Fury, and they should be able to bring him down. They will lose Zai, but he gets the deny right at the back end. Man, oh man, what serious cluster of action already! Five to two and five minutes in. I'm, I'm really like, surprised how Universe and, and Sumail died. I think Sumail, just because he doesn't have boots, he got right-clicked a couple of times and tried to spin on the creep wave and then just got turned with raises, but Universe dying to an Omni Knight, very Whoa. unlike him. Not expecting that at all. But... Dude, now near level 7. Cut of it.
You're looking at a guy who's going to be already bulking up a serious amount of sustain for his team, and it looks like he'll be going into uh, extra sustain as far as items go, too. That was really... Zai and Pai literally just walked by each other and placed wards. I don't think they actually saw each other, either. Mid lane. And the aggressive gets the man, and the Omni Slash bounces onto mid one. Puppy was close, but I guess not close enough to even attempt any sort of share of the Omni on that one, and Sumail will be able to bounce back with his own kill here. I don't know. Is mid lane. No opportunity to make the go on to Sumail as they'll back on out. Do you get a forgiving kill back their way? Their needed kill. And Secret already on the initiative for another movement. Top lane crit. Charge will get canceled. MP gonna go heal up with the remnant with the bottle. Come back nice and healthy. Going for that veil build as we have seen every single game. Top every single attack. game, of course. <laughs> every single game on Ember. New build. That talent. The universe makes his return here back to the bottom lane. He's been able to recover quite a bit towards his bit of gold. The build up. The huge on this one. Yep. Pretty big though for like that. That solo kill from Kez was actually so big. He's like really high level. He's going to be accelerated towards that mech early. Higher levels of repel early on. Going to be very important for them to be able to go for that group up maneuver. And he now has that TP on hand here, so if something is to break down here, particularly this top lane, let's say, they will be rotating him in as that paramedic, but looks like EG aren't looking to go on the advancement at this point. Artiz is getting close to that level 6 now, and of course, as we know, duel will be online. Is it onto them? Do they want to start bringing in that dual damage as soon as possible? Do they have that kind of lineup where they can utilize the potential to kind of start getting in, you know, duels earlier than later? But with the, with like the ion shell, they do have a couple things to kind of enable him to go for more damage from that. With the relocate coming out later, I think it's gonna be, have to wait till they get their sixes online for the other heroes before the duels come out. But again, Sumail pushes mid one like out of out of the lane, even though he did have a bit of an unfavorable death there. He's able to after that omni slash just force him to retreat to the jungle, and Sumail now just in a one versus zero matchup in the mid lane. And the ward coming out from from Zai in the bottom lane does scout Puppy's movement moving down toward bottom, so he gets the DD, but Sumail actually doesn't isn't completely aware of it. I, did, I think they pinged him too, but I guess he just wanted to go back and go for the bounty rune bottom. Yeah, seems to be the case here. He's going in low, he has that Omni Slash up, maybe hoping to kind of catch someone out, but we'll settle with the creep wave nearby instead. Reverse comes close to feed him a little bit of mana, and... Secret are back into the grind, uh, making their approach back in towards the mid lane. Here we go, this could be the first smoke play of the game. MP leaves the top lane, traveling with Puppy, going for a kill on Zai. They saw Zai get blue of the lone bottom, so they are expecting Universe to just be jungling in the near vicinity. So they're looking for the first aggressive move from MP coming out. Yeah, Universe, that is the case. Long gone from this bottom lane. Now Secret looking to swarm into EG. Zai's like, there's no Ember Spirit in the top lane, dude. Something's up. Yeah, something is up. Puppy, digging the trees. Oh, boy. Zai. Oh, and oh hello. They, <laughs> they come in. Zai suddenly realizes what's going on, but he is surrounded by four Secret members, and I don't think we're going to have anyone from EG rotate in to help out on this one. But he's going to make him sweat for it, though, but they'll eventually get the grab, and they will be able to get the kill. And Secret Radiant could segue this into a tier one push. A good rotation coming out for mid one as well. Him being the physical aspect on the team to actually go for those tower sieges. And the mirror rotation coming out from EG trying to pressure that top lane since four heroes do show bottom. And Sumail pressuring the mid lane. And staying on his own a bit for now. EG. Secret is wanting to fight this one. They even bring the Omni Knight, the important hero. Spirit Breaker crossing the map with a big charge. He is being spotted out from Sumail, so it's obviously going to be a bit uh, noticeable from EG. That Secret are rotating in, but they're looking to catch him on the way. Zai goes for the hook, but not going to be able to get the connection. Also sweeping in. There's Kezu, there's MP. They're going to get the chains. They're going to get the heal bomb. They're looking to go for Universe here. A wall going to be committed. They're looking to not cross through it. Kezu's going to be forced to go to it, but he pops out the Guardian Angel. Now they put the focus on the crit. They will be able to take him out. A duel going to be coming out from Artiz. The heal bomb is there. Huge damage comes out, and he's going to be going down. Nice save as well with the disruption, and they head on out. Zai will be able to get the deny off, and it's going to be a huge secret fight on this one, making it a three-for-one trade. Zai does fortunately get the deny for himself, or? Yep. So it's just a 
two for one, but still, they're the ones making the aggressive move. They don't get the tower, and they lose multiple heroes and lose their safe lane tower. So good reactions coming out from Seeker. And this is the power of their lineup that we talked about. They have a lot of sustain coming out from the Omni Knight, turns the fight instantly, this disruption as well. Very hard for EG to get a successful duel. So Mill gets a hard shot into MP, a second crit onto MP, and suddenly he's feeling a little bit confident here, but that will spring out a rotation in from their Omni Knight. And They've got the charge coming out. Heal, but yeah, as mentioned, Puppy moves in. Another immediate bash after that charge, but uh, not looking to pursue any further. They'll let that Top one lane. slide. is smoked. Oh, he doesn't get the hook on mid one. Nope. Get out. They'll have to pull off and look for new opportunities elsewhere, it would appear. Yeah, unfortunately, First duel, not going to be successful there for EG. Yeah, they're trying to make as much happen as possible, but Secret responding with more heroes every single time. Once they get this mech on the Omni Knight too, it's going to be pretty hard for EG to really fight into it. They're trying to claim this tier 1 tower at least, at least one of them in the early game to give them a little bit more potential to get those type of duels and relocate potential with the, with the map control that they get from it. Ooh. MP here could be at risk of a hook. And there it is. Nice hook, nice grab, nice defender, and even a wall on top of it just in case. Keel certainly secured on this one. P goes down. Not done yet. Fisherman Zai hanging out nearby just in case Pi takes a few many steps out of position. I think they forfeit this tower. They do this, get the scan on Pi, they get the relocate coming in, and that looks like a very dead shadow. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. RTG's like, dual damage, please. Oh, he doesn't oh, get it. He tried. Tried to go for the duel. Not going to get the easy damage, and we'll settle for the puff instead. Plus the tower, though. Really nice for EG. And they will now congregate together as a team. Six to eight, our score right now. We'll take an early peek at the net worth. It's only just a, a hair in favor of EG on this one after the commanding start by Secret. EG crawling themselves back into a, an even playing field. And Mech finished up on Universe now at base. So they'll have that little bit of extra healing potential on top of the healing ward, the Presti attack, and the Wisp. They do have quite a lot of sustain coming out on their lineup. They do have that going for them, but they don't really have anything to deal with the Repel. So what does that mean? We need to get a particular item pickup for anyone on EG. I don't know if Defusal is going to be the answer anymore. But... Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, That's... so it's like, what What are your other options at this point if you really are not? <laughs> Repel's yeah. Repel. You just got to kind of avoid the Repel, make sure that the yeah. Omni Knight is taken out of position. It's up to the hooks. So they can bring, bring him out of position, or they can go for like, a disable once Artizia goes go for Blink, if he does. But he looks like he's doing the Blade Mill into Armor build, going for that type of more scaling build since they already they have a Jug oh, and LC boy. as their course. Artizia, though, well, this is a five-man secret movement, all for Artizia. And he purges, runs up north. Tries to weasel out a little bit, but obviously outnumbered on this one grossly. And Secret will take that. Rest of EG, you know, in the meantime, not really getting a, too much done, but are able to get a little bit of farm time here. And just kind of looking to square these lanes back up. Space with Sumail here after he picks up this bounty. He's got the helm and a centaur companion. And looking to build up into what looks like a Sage and Yasha? Does look like it, yeah. Going for that very early game fighting build. No point in getting the defusal, so why not? Puppy yeah. getting Omni Slash, and he is dead. Yo, okay. Quick work right there. As he comes in, it's a bit too late to save his captain, but mid one's here too. On nice grab from Zai, pulls back the Omni Knight here. Is he going to try to get anything up? But there's a follow up duel, and they're not going to get it done. There's your first duel victory there going the way, but they are going to get the fire back on his Sumail. Mid one pops out the ulti, turns back for RTG, picks him down with the raise. Vacuum pullback, though, does come out from the universe, but it's not going to be good enough. Triple kill for mid one on this one. Here comes Crit in Universe, now going to get surrounded a bit by MP, shoves him back a bit, Remnants forward, can't quite get the finish. Crit they are forced to almost save him. Uh, Sumail there. But, but they get the chains on for Universe, there's the movement for Puppy, the Nether Strike back, and that's going to make it work. Four go down from the side of EG. That was four for just one? Not two, they get Puppy in the initial, and then they do get the hook on Kezu. You're correct. Oh, yeah, man. Pi in mid one, just getting that purge up onto the Juggernaut while he's spinning, just gets right click down, crit just, I think the spin lasted a, a point five too long that he wasn't able to get the tether to bring Sumail out of that one. And with that advantage, secret pull off, suddenly 
mid one with that huge fight. King of net worth at this point. Yeah, that was a very big Requiem coming out for him. Now he's got his Dragon Lance, he's even tankier, and he's going for that Rush Butterfly build. Whoa. So just straight right click damage potential into some survivability as well with the evasion. I mean, it's not really a BKB kind of a game here against CG, is it? No, oh, just wants to. Oh, oh no, somehow finds a target onto Puppy there on the back end side, but there is going to be a disruption save. Holds the low ground with the back end, will quickly burst him down along with Pi. Both of the supports going to be dropped on this one. They will get the grab on Desai with the last right click of mid one. He will peace out on the back of a TP. Just take the one kill, but it is EG who will take down both supports. Deny from mid one, but it cost them the two supports. Yeah. Nice hook there coming out from Zai, for sure. And I think, was that dual damage? He did get dual damage, right? Right at the end of it, right at the end of the, the duel. So yeah, he's got 10 at least coming out for Artisi. Oh, well, he's only got the one from earlier. He did oh, not get a duel, earlier. yeah. Okay, so yeah. he's still only got one dual bonus damage under his belt right now. Probably feeling a bit unsatisfied if you're Arteezy at that point. Yeah, the Omni Knight, the purification on top of the disruption coming it's out from high. Just it's very hard to get those duels coming out if they're not like in the perfect position. Just very easy for a secret to save those and not allow him to get that damage build up. Looks like a uh, MP is gonna be going for the blink dagger next on his ember. Some catch on top of the spare breaker. Yeah. Favoring the extra bit of mobility on this one. Getting to the back line, yeah. His eyes close as he builds into his early hood, trying to tank up a bit. But they'll fend off this push for now, and people go back to his grind of farm. Crit, I'm sure, on scout across the map here. He has the relocate up, but they will be seeing that the pressure is actually be coming from this top lane. Seeker are making a move in. It looks like they will easily claim this tier one. No threat from EG on this. EG making their own trade, or at least their own movement down this mid lane instead. I'm pretty impressed with how, the way that they're standing up versus Secret so far. So like, when Secret gets like that unit, and they get those like three or four heroes in position to go for the towers, it's very hard for EG to fight. And they just have to kind of like be like, okay, Zai, you gotta land this like glorious Radiance hook, and we gotta mess the fight up so Universe gets attack. a big combo. But here we go, smoke directly into Secret. There's no Guardian yeah. Angel coming out. It's a smoke from both sides. Easy with the latter one. Universe heads to the high ground, but it is now Secret in kind of a better position here. Mid one heads up and to the other side. EG are not going to feel so comfortable heading into that side of the map. So both teams will just kind of have to let that smoke go. Yeah, Secret just aware of it, getting the high ground position. There's no way that EG can fight into the, in that kind of detriment. Again, a pretty tight game on this one too. Back and forth we go, 10 to 14. A couple of trades here and there, but no one really feeling like the big king. Oh my god, Sumail, be careful. Those, oh my goodness, those illusions hurt. Backs off a bit, but he'll be fine. Butterfly done. <laughs> Mid one, he's, he's starting finish to feel it, yeah. It's very far. And he's gonna be going to a Scotty next. He's getting pretty gross. Yeah, his illusions are <laughs> be pretty powerful to say the least at this Jeez. point in time. He's running them at the mid tower. Not even bothering with the creep wave. Pi just wanted to get that chip damage. It's working. It is working. 200 damage from just those illusions, and they weren't even. That wasn't even full duration. He ran them from pretty far back. Again, rinse repeat. They really want to claim that tier one. Remove Ichi's access to kind of just fight near the mid lane. Looks like Sumail's got his Sanjin Yasha now complete. Just needs to fly it in here, it looks like. And I don't know if that's a a big ticket item to start taking top fights, lane. but yeah, top lane crit. We'll catch the back end of it, hiding within the trees. Secret will pop him. The lone little support. Far from his home, far from his friends. I think he was just like solo pushing out the lane a bit and just gets jumped by the Amber Spirit. Mid lane, Sumail gets first up, charges coming out, cancels the TP from his bit, and Sumail should be brought down very easily. Oh here. my god, ruthless bumps coming in. Puppy really channeling his inner RNGs on this one. Able to get the connection, Sumail gets dropped. Secret film pretty good. Their advancement down this mid lane, and EG could be the ones to be on the defensive. But not going to be able to have an answer for that tier one takedown. Secret not letting up though. Still hanging around back through this mid lane. Zai. So hard for EG forward, to fight. But yeah, there's not too many openings here. It's feeling like it's a lot onto maybe Zai to get that one, you know, clutch hook isolating someone from Secret in hopes that they could burst it down. But 
They scan near the Roche pit, expecting Sigurd to kind of back up and go for that one here. And they do catch, they do catch someone inside of the scan, so they might be thinking that something's going on there, but Secret making moves just to split up around the map, maximize their efficiency after taking that mid tier one. And yeah, they won't get it and pull off. This is, you know, still a bit concerning. Arteezy with just that 10 dual damage just kind of goes to show that we're really not too many openings here for EG. No easy openings at that. And it's been more secret kind of deciding where the fight's going to happen. And once back again, this time he's got a DD room bottled up with 2,000 gold in his pocket. Charges out for the mid lane and Arteezy, another purge, another bump charge. Gets blown up from that DD. This is some cra crazy exploit I'm missing here. <laughs> Another grab onto TZ and Secret now up and up, 17 to 10. This and with that way, they'll definitely go into the Roche and definitely get it done. Yeah, very quickly as well. The on the Shadow Fiend just kind of bring it down with ease. And with an Aegis, that's going to be their time to go for those tier twos, clean up the shrines, and to stay as a unit. I think that's the only way that they. I mean, the only way that Secret really loses this game is if they split up and somehow get caught a, like a million times versus EG. But yeah, like we said, like the panel mentioned as well, very difficult for EG to really battle versus this five-man lineup that Secret has with the Repel, with the heal, with Mech. It's too much for them to deal with. And lately, I have rarely have ever seen Secret yet yeah, have anyone just kind of out on their own. This has been a, a, a glued unit team. Going from objective to objective, now claiming a tier two just after claiming that Roche. Back off and, and set a course for the next hour and then like, because uh, I would imagine in any five on five situation, Secret definitely are having the upper hand here. Absolutely. And uh, MP, what did he just pick up here? It looks like his boots of travel, travel. Yeah. are on route. So boots and blink already done for him. He can start building into those sweet juicy items now. Mid one almost finishing up his eye of Scotty now too. So the illusions are going to be even more buff and he's going to have that chase potential with the slow and the kite potential on the Juggernaut. Legion, so... EG, just kind of sticking as like a 3-2 split up, and trying to maximize any type of efficiency possible, farm where they can, but Secret again, just run as this unit. Here we go, universe is charged up. Will we, will they actually finish this one? It looks like they are going to. They get the grab on him, he gets the Guardian Greaves off to remove it, though it's a bit too deep for Puppy. No point in them diving tower if they need to just go for their standard approach, just run in together as a unit and take it out. And even the ogre lives. <laughs> That's two males over here. Yeah. Yeah, well, never mind. And it did. But yep. Again, just group up, go for these towers, siege. Don't split up. And there's no, there's no point in splitting up with the lineup that you have versus EGs. They can't fight into this at all. Felt I'm a broken record. <laughs> I mean, like, what, what do we do at this point if you're EG? It's really kind of hard to find uh, the response play here for him. I mean, I, I hate to say that it's already got to be looking to high ground defense territory for him, but that might have to be the case here. You have the Darkseer, which is nice. You have the Pudge on the inside to kind of try to isolate and get a clutch hook. But, you know, outside of those, I don't see too many realms of opportunity for them to kind of really get on the up and up. Yeah, so. definitely. No, I really like the boots to pick up from MT there so they can, you know, keep doing that kind of push together and the MP can just deal with the side lanes a bit. See, it's pretty hard for them to really kill him. The only way to do it is if they get like a perfect duel into the relocate, but it's still quite hard if there's... They have to be really perfect about it. And Juan picked up his first ulti or but is hiding it in his backpack, maybe not looking to reveal his, his choices here. Time. But they pull off right now and also have that Vlad's soon to be complete on Kezu. More utility even coming in, more survivability. Auras, just get all the damage potential and then give him his, giving his Shadow Fiend a bit of life steal on top too. Good one, finishes the Eye of Scotty, now we'll probably see him swap it in quite soon, maybe just wait for the Aegis to take out, but it's still got a couple more minutes, so I wouldn't be too surprised if he just swaps it for his TP in, in quite small time, and yeah, he does it right away. Surprise, Scotty. Yeah, level 18 as well now, so he's got max Requiem, and soon he's going to be level 20 for the plus damage. Plus two damage per soul, so gaining another uh -oh. plus 72 damage. Secret have spotted. They have that ward at the ancient camp. They look to make their charge in, but EG are already on their way oh, out. Scaring away home side, though. Might not be so fortunate. Not Doesn't able get to get the chains. connection of the chains. Yeah, so Zai's going to be able to make it away. Bit unfortunate there for Secret to be able to get the snag, but thankful for EG to be able to make it away without losing anybody. Still, same name in the game. Go for the towers. They don't need to die for those kills. Like, just take out the tier twos, and then they're going to clean up the shrines and... The nice, clean, methodical game here yeah. from Secret, recognizing their potential and just kind of just take, I don't want to say the easy road, but they're doing 
just what's necessary to kind of advance their advantage in this game. Yeah, the proper road. There's they they, they yeah. recognize like, there's no way EG can fight us. Like it's probably exactly what they're saying to each other as well. There's no way they can fight us. Just take it slow. We'll win this game. Good clean game here coming out from Stiegbert right now. And EG stuck in a position where they have very few options. Almost feels like a 180 from game number one. And now they're in that territory of just kind of fishing for maybe potential grabs of this Zai hook, but I'm sure it's something that Secret are going to be privy to here. You, uh, not going to get the grab on that. But the sieging will continue. More disruption. Illusions here on the Shadow Fiend as a tier 2 set to be dropped. Another hook. Not going to get the connection here. So that's all tier 2s. Shrines are, Yeah, it is. Shrines are up for grabs, everybody. Gonna go for the top one first. Mid one's gonna push out bottom with his boots to travel. Pretty sure he leaves a remnant as he should. Money, money, money. Don't see it, but yeah, it's okay. It's in the mid lane, so yeah. And they, the amount of wards that Seeker puts up to, even a couple of redundant wards, all kind of in like the same vicinity. Putting one on the hill and then one right next to it. Just emphasizing how much they want to claim this shrine and make sure that they get this map control. And same thing, stick together as unit, wait for next Roshan, wait for this level 20 coming out for the Shadow Fiend 2 so he gets that bonus damage from his talents. And. The next ages, we'll probably see them start to go for that high ground siege with the illusions. They can just constantly send the illusions, and Legion Commander does have overwhelming odds around the same cooldown as the Shadow Demon Disruption, but they are pretty tanky illusions now already with how far Midwin is. This is their time, though, to go for this pickoff on MP. We'll be able to get it. Sai is lining up for the hook. Would be a real nice grab here for EG if they can get it done. Arteezy thirsty for more damage. Now has the armlet to help it out, but. Yeah, Blink, Armlet, Blade Mill, he's got Look his secret, just, hey, where's EG? Not on the map, so we're going to hang back and just kind of get a read here. Now we'll send some casual illusions to spot it out. No, oh, hey, what's happening up here? The jig is up, and now Puppy's looking to make his moves. Zai is not even happy with this coming in illusion. Goes for the hook onto Puppy, tries to jump in, looking to go for the duel, but back into the rest of the secret, looking to make the move in while he's going to get dropped. There goes the mid one ulti, and he gets bursted down. That is going to be the drop of two from EG. And now the right clicks come out, Sumail gonna get purged up, no blade fury for you, double kill for mid one, a commanding advantage once again here for Secret. They will lose MP, still a, a worthy trade for him. Very nice bounces for Sumail, very fortunate ones. It only went on MP pretty much from that entire Omni Slash, but Crit coming down into that. Do they have reveal for him to stop the TP? They, they don't. don't. They don't. The little guy will make it back home. This thing an extra kill, but getting what they wanted to get three for one. On their, kind of on their terms as well. They saw the movement coming out from Zai, they just turned the fight around, but EG well, did try to fight, you know? It's not like they were like, leave Zai alone, they just ditch him. No, they actually tried to go for this. But yeah, even committing that duel too, hoping that they can get the burst on the puppy first and foremost, but yeah. They didn't even have to use Guardian Angel from Kezu there, so. Full secret posse still staying together here. Buddy buddy system, I like to call it, as they get their smoke and we're advancing all the way up north, where we have little universe here. He's out. Yeah. Doesn't see anyone on the map. No, something's up. Game sense right there. Avoids the trouble of Secret making their approach. Secret will recognize he's gone and probably just take the lane instead and push it right back down. Did they take out both the shrines already? It looks like they have. They did, yep. yep. The only thing left here for Secret is really Maybe finding an opportunity for the next Roche to come up, and then it's it's sieging time, I'd imagine. Yeah, definitely. Roche should be, we'll find out in the next five to 10 seconds how long it will be till it respawns, but the line is drawn from Pi. They want to start sieging the tier three already with the illusion since mid one's already pretty much a critical mass, and he's got level 20 now too, so he's got that plus two damage per soul, so 72 more damage from Necromastery. Sitting on it, 400 base damage exactly. with, a data, with a crit, with a small crit. Not a Daedalus just yet, but. Still quite a lot of damage. Pi very aware that they the only thing that they can really do for EG is get a high ground ward and try to go for hooks. So he dewards the high ground right away. Let's see Roche actually was that? I think it was. An it was. It was, it was a. It was a very very small timer. Oh, and it, will they scout it out? We'll find out. Puppy looks to be going toward it. Checking it out. Checks out the rune. Does not go in the mid though. He just wants to push out the mid lane for now. All right. They'll pull off and away here. And. Uh, Probably get the intel soon enough. Look to move in, take that objective, and kind of round things out. Sumail to the bottom lane here. He's MP. Shoves him back a bit. 
definitely not too concerned about it. A couple right clicks. Get out of here. Back and we'll grab up his rune. But yeah, secret just more eyes on the prize here. And keeping this pressure in the top lane. Happy to kind of force EG into this position where they know, well, you're inside your base. We know you're not farming anywhere oh, else. Sumail gets his TP stopped and the charge is coming out to MP with a beautiful chain to stop that. Sumail now should go down to the split But no, they don't know where everybody else is on the side of EG. They don't feel like they want to go for that type of risky play. Sumail in very dangerous territory there, though. No, no, scared me. <laughs> I, I, when MP went in, I was like, uh-oh. That was in some trouble. But... Don't want to risk it when they're playing versus the Wisp as well, being able to relocate a couple heroes. They don't know where everyone else on the side of EG is. They could have thought it was a bait, not wanted to risk anything when they're sitting at a almost 50,000 gold lead. Roche is up, as we mentioned before, and this is where they go for it. Getting the Aegis up on mid one would be incredibly lovely. Evil heal up inside the base, pop their smoke, and look at this. Considering making their own move out, they're, they're getting hit in the docks, but. Yeah. They know exactly where they are. Yeah, look at the line drawn from Kazu. He knows exactly where they're standing by sending some illusions up the hill. So yeah, fishy, though. Claiming high ground from Secret. Getting into a better advantageous position. Lanes are all pushing in, too. But they're aware that this is going down. Absolutely. All right, EG. What are they going to do? They maybe looking to cut off Secret on the way down? The element of surprise may be one of the best things they can go for at this point. Oh, MP though, confidently jumping right in, looking to go for the chains, but the Greaves are going to be there. They now spot Arteezy within the trees and hit him up with the Purge. Jump in for Crit, but it's not going to be good enough. Try to relocate him back, but it's not going to get the grab, and now it's going to be Crit. Oh man, poor little Wisp trying to make it back out, but hey, maybe he can... Nope, doesn't have the Glimmer either, so... Here he comes. Goes to the TP trick. See you later, little ball. Here we go. High ground time. Yeah, and uh, no buyback on Sir Artur. Gonna be out for just about 30 seconds without any sort of answer. And that's when Secret looked to make their go. That's gonna be a tier three in trouble. Sumail just frenchly jumping in, looking to go for the full Omni Slash here. Sets back and, well, he gets caught within the other side. As soon as he falls on EG, know that this one is as good as done and they will call it. And we're gonna be going to a game at number three in the semi-final matchup. Yeah, good drafting game plan. Yeah, it was, it was way too hard for EG really to do much in this game. 